for the Igbo man that says an Igbo presidency is not tenable, we should also remind him that his kingsmen died in the civil war. And if he says his kingsmen that died have no rights to presidency, then he's saying that those that died in the civil war probably died in vain. Because we even forget the terms of the civil war. We forget in a hurry. Anyway, how are we going to remember when we have a country where they don't teach history in school? We forget that the marginalization complained about in the civil war is still the marginalization happening today. We forget that it has taken over 40 years to complete the second Niger bridge. And these are the things the Igbo cry marginalization for. We forget that rail has been done in some other parts of the country, but no rail has been done in Igbo land. We forget that the Igbo people still complain of a debt of federal infrastructure. So if these people are complaining and they say Igbo presidency is the pathway for reassurance, and an Igbo man says nothing for you, that you have to make peace with Nigeria, then it speaks volumes of what the person said and who the person is. But you should remember that it is righteousness that exalts a nation. And Pajaj be careful with the things they say to their own people just because of political benefits.